Hello and welcome to Diet Day. This series will be documenting facts about different dinosaurs. If you would like to see more, please do like and subscribe. Today's dinosaur is Concavenator. Concavenator was a medium-sized primitive Carcharodontosaurian dinosaur, reaching 5 to 6 meters, 16 to 20 feet in length, and 320 to 400 kilograms, 710 to 880 pounds in body mass. It possessed several unique features, including two extremely tall vertebrae in the front of the hips, which form a tall but narrow and pointed crest, possibly supporting a hump on the dinosaur's back. The function of the crest is currently unknown. Paleontologist Roger Benson from the University of Cambridge speculated that one possibility is it is analogous to head crests used in visual displays. But a Spanish scientist who discovered it noted that it could be for thermal regulation. Concavenator had a structure resembling quill knobs on its ulna, a feature known only in birds and other feathered theropods, such as Velociraptor. Quill knobs are created by ligaments which attract the feather fo follicle. And since scales do not form the follicles, the author ruled out the possibility that they could indicate the presence of long displaced scales on the arm. Knobs have been thought to probably anchor simple hollow quill like structures. Such structures are known both in Coralosaurus and Elong, and in some Ornithischians like Tianulong and Pistacosaurus. If the Ornithischian quills are homologous, with bird feathers, their presence within an allosauroid like concavenator would be expected. However, if ornithischian quills are not related to feathers, the prevalence of these structures in concavenator would show that feathers have begun to appear in earlier, more primitive forms of Coalurus. So far, there's only been one specimen of concavenator found in 1988. The fossil was discovered in Las Hoyas fossil site of Spain by the paleontologist Jose Luis Sanz and Francisco Ortega and Fernando Escaso from the Autonomous University of Madrid and the National University of Distant Edge. And with that, we have came to the end of this episode of Dino Day. Hopefully you've enjoyed and hopefully you've learned something new. As always, all the links and credits will be in the description.